my fifth graders, I am Sir Ike, the professor. Welcome to the world of Matastic Five. Let me ask you a question, and I want you to be honest. How do you feel about math? Do you think it is scary? Confusing? Do you believe math is impossible to learn? I understand math can be a little intimidating. But let me share with you a secret. If you devote enough time to study it, math can be fun. And you know how math can be fun? By learning from cool superheroes. Yes, you heard that right. In this show, superheroes will be the ones helping you discover new tricks so you can learn math the super exciting way. Together with the Matastic Five, you can be the next math superhero. Why don't you grab your module, pen, and notebook, and let us begin our journey in the math universe! Before I turn you over to one of the Matastic 5 superheroes, let's review some math fundamentals. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers are whole numbers greater than 1 that only have two factors, 1 and the number itself. How about composite numbers? Composite numbers can be defined as whole numbers that have more than two factors. What is a multiple? A multiple is a number that can be divided by another number for a number of times without a remainder. And lastly, what is divisibility? Divisibility refers to a number's quality of being divided by another number without a remainder. To further refresh on some mathematics basics, it is time for you to come face to face with the Super Driller! Hello math heroes! I am Super Driller, your review hero. You need to pass my level by answering all my questions before proceeding to the next. Are you ready? Let's go! For today's drill, you need to give the first three multiples of the given numbers. Let's begin the super drill task. Give the first three multiples of the given numbers below. Write your answer in your paper. You have five seconds to answer each number. Give the first three multiples of two. The first three multiples of 2 are 2, 4, and 6. Give the first three multiples of 3. The first three multiples of 3 are 3, 6, and 9. Give the first three multiples of 5. The first three multiples of 5 are 5, 10, and 15. Give the first three multiples of 6. The first three multiples of 6 are 6, 12, and 18. Give the first three multiples of 10. The first three multiples of 10 are 10, 20, and 30. You did great, math heroes! Congratulations! Let's proceed to our next super drill task. Identify whether a number is a prime number or a composite number. You have 5 seconds to write your answers on your paper. Let's begin with number 1. 2. Is 2 a prime number or a composite number? The answer is prime number. Number 2. 3. Is 3 a prime number or a composite number? The answer is prime number. Number 3. 5. Is 5 a prime number or a composite number? The answer is prime number. Number 4. 6. Is 6 a prime number or a composite number? The answer is composite number. Number 5. 10. Is 10 a prime number 
or a composite number? The answer is composite number. Wow, impressive, Math Heroes. You did amazing. I will make it a little bit harder next time. Up, up, and away! I'm proud of you, Math Heroes. You did great on your first test. As a reward, I will now introduce you to another Mathastic 5 hero. The Super Driller helped you learn by reviewing lessons with you. This superhero you are about to meet will teach you important math concepts through adventure-filled stories. Here comes our very special storyteller. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's Super Math. I have traveled across the galaxy with a mission to tell stories. Math Heroes, allow me to take you on a first math adventure. Once upon a time, Ricky the Super Kid dreamt to become a superhero. He always watched TV and movies about superheroes. He was often dressed in his favorite costume and memorized the lines of his favorite childhood heroes. One day, he realized that his birthday party was nearing. So he called all of his 15 classmates and invited them to his birthday party. On his birthday, he hosted a game called The Boat is Sinking. He asked his 15 friends to group themselves into 2, 5, and 10. When he asked them to form into groups with 5 members, no one was eliminated. He then told his friends to group themselves into 2 and one of them was eliminated. Why is that so? Because 15 divided by 2 is 7 remainder 1. How about if he grouped the kids into 10? How many will be eliminated? Let's find out and help Ricky count. There you go, math heroes! That was our first math adventure featuring Super Math. Do you also play The Boat is Sinking? I'm sure you do. Don't worry, math heroes. Once everything goes back to normal, you can do what the boy did in the Super Math story. Throw a fun party and play with your friends. I'm sure it's gonna be fun! When playing the boat is sinking, what operation do we use in grouping the players? Division In our story, what are the three numbers we use in grouping the 15 kids? 2, 5, and 10. Now, based on the story, what do you think is our lesson for today? You got it! Divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. And using these divisibility rules to find the common factors of the numbers. Math Heroes, you are in for a brand new and super fun discussion. Today, we will learn about the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of the numbers. What are the techniques? What are the rules? Going back to our math adventure earlier, let's discuss the given facts. When 15 kids were asked to group themselves into 5, no one was eliminated. Why? Because... 15 is divisible by 5. But when they were asked to group themselves into 2, 1 was eliminated. This is because 15 is not divisible by 2. When we divide 15 by 2, the answer is 7, remainder 1. But how many kids will be eliminated if the 15 kids are asked to group themselves into 10? The answer is 5. Is 5 also your answer? Great! Because 15 is not divisible by 10. And if we divide 15 by 10, the answer is 1, remainder 5. So 5 kids will be eliminated from the game. Now, Math Heroes, let's talk about the rules and concepts of the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Divisibility rules tell whether a number is exactly divisible by other numbers. This rule is a shortcut way to decide whether a number is exactly divisible by another number without doing division computation. Let's begin with the divisibility rule for 2. 
A number can be divided by 2 if the number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. For example, 170. Is 170 divisible by 2? Yes, because the digit in the 1's place is 0. Therefore, 170 is divisible by 2. Math heroes, let's check if you are listening well. Let's have other drills with Super Driller. It's me, the Super Driller. Answer this drill with yes or no. Let's begin with 26. Is 26 divisible by 2? Yes, because the digit in the ones place is 6. Therefore, 26 is divisible by 2. Hmm, you're doing good. How about this? 78. Is 78 divisible by 2? Yes, because the digit in the ones place is 8. Therefore, 78 is divisible by 2. Well done, kids! Up, up, and away! Let's proceed with the divisibility rule for 5. A number can be divided by 5 if the number ends with 0 or 5. For example, 755. Is 755 divisible by 5? Yes, because the digit in the ones place is 5. Therefore, 755 is divisible by 5. Super Driller, take it away! Hmm, let's see if you're listening to the professor. 350. Is 350 divisible by 5? Yes, because the digit in the ones place is 0. Therefore, 350 is divisible by 5. Another example. 552. Is 552 divisible by 5? No, because the digit in the ones place is 2. Therefore, 552 is not divisible by 5. Haha! <laughs> I thought I could trick you with that. Up, up, and away! And for our final rule, the divisibility rule for 10. A number can be divided by 10 if the digit in the ones place is 0. For example, 980. Is 980 divisible by 10? Yes. Because the digit in the ones place of 980 is 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 10. Math heroes, it's drill time! Alright, let's see if you can pass this one. Math heroes, how about 210? Is 210 divisible by 10? Yes, because the digit in the ones place of 210 is 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 10. Hmm, how about this one? 155. Is 155 divisible by 10? No, because the digit in the ones place of 155 is 5. Therefore, it is not divisible by 10. Well, well, you are really good, math heroes. I will see you next time. Up, up, and away! There you have it, math heroes. You have just gained your first superpower in Mathastic 5. Mastering the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Now it's time to use the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of the numbers. But before we proceed, what is a common factor? Hmm. A common factor is a factor that is the same for two or more numbers. Let's use our examples a while ago. Study the table. Say yes if the number is divisible by 2, 5, or 10. And say no if otherwise. Is 170 divisible by 2? Yes. Is it divisible by 5? Yes. And is it divisible by 10? Also, a big yes. So 170 is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Therefore, 2, 5, and 10 
are some of the factors of 170. How about 755? Is 755 divisible by 2? Hmm, I'm afraid it's a no. How about 5? Is it divisible by 5? Yes. And how about 10? Is 755 divisible by 10? A big no. Therefore, out of the three numbers, only 5 is the factor of 755. Now let's go with 980. Is 980 divisible by 2? Yes. Is it divisible by 5? Yes. And is it divisible by 10? Also a big yes. So 980 is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Therefore 2, 5, and 10 are some of the factors of 980. Now take a look at the table. What is the common factor of 170, 755, and 980? 5. Because all three numbers can be divided by 5. Congratulations, math heroes! You are getting closer to the finish line. Now, here's another Matastic hero to test if you can still remember the super rules and concepts of the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. She is always wondering if you mastered your skills. She is Wonder Woman! math heroes i heard you're all doing well i wonder if you have mastered the skills can you still remember the divisibility rules for two five and ten how about the common factor hmm let's see how will you know if a number is divisible by two a number can be divided by two if the number ends with zero two four six or eight how about 5? A number can be divided by 5 if the digit in the 1's place is either 0 or 5. And for 10, a number can be divided by 10 if the digit in the 1's place of a number is 0. Now, what is a common factor? A common factor is a factor that is the same for two or more numbers. Great job! All my wonders have been answered. See you again. And remember, never lose your sense of wonder. Up, up, and away! Math heroes, you are now in your final quest. Your next Matastic hero will make your brain storming to work for more. She is lightning fast and always ready for every math task. I give you Brainstorm! Begin the lightning thinking. Ready your pens and papers and answer the storm learning task. Math Heroes, you have one minute to select the appropriate numbers which are divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Write your answers on your paper.
Did you get all the right answers? If you did, that's great! Congratulations, math heroes! We will see each other in your next quest. Up, up, and away! Math heroes, it has been a great journey with you. But wait, there's more. To complete our Mathastic Five, I'd like you to meet another superhero. He always hides in the dark and looks for super kids watching the math universe doing their homework. Look around, he might be taking a picture of you. It's time for Photograph with the Bat Map. After searching every corner of the universe, I present you the math hero of the day. From Dos Hermanas Elementary School, Elisay District 1, Division of Negros Occidental. Aliana Feliz Mosqueda. Show us your true power by sending your picture while watching our Mathtastic 5 episodes in our Facebook page. Just search Mathtastic 5 or post your photos with a hashtag Mathtastic Hero and be featured in our next Mathtastic 5 episodes. Watch out for updates on the social media pages of DepEd TV channel. I am Batman and I will find you. Keep watching our episodes and you will someday become a Math 5 superhero just like us. Again, I am Sir Ike, the professor. Fantastic 5, assemble!